Well, hi there, everybody, and good Tuesday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here. It's habit, I want to say Monday morning, but of course we had the holiday weekend. Hope you had a great weekend. We had uh, numerous showers and storms over the weekend. Some heavy rain uh, was seen in some locations, particularly in southwest Nebraska, where there is a flash flood watch in effect from 4 o'clock this afternoon through 1 a.m. Wednesday. These are areas that could see another round of showers and storms, and that heavy rain on top of what we have already seen could lead to more flash flooding. Uh, now, that said, things are fairly quiet this morning. Uh, a few more clouds to the north and west compared to areas to the south and east. And we are going to see uh, again, kind of a mix. There's going to be a front of boundary kind of draped through the area. Similar to yesterday, although maybe a little farther south and east, it's kind of lying near Grand Island Kearney area, so it's going to be much cooler behind that front to the north and west, warmer out ahead of that front. And late today, slight chance of showers and storms as things try to fire up. One of the better chances late this afternoon would be across east central and northeastern Nebraska. But then we watch the disturbance that will come in out of the southwest tonight. That's going to bring in a round of showers and storms through the overnight hours. Severe weather is a possibility late tonight into the early morning hours tomorrow. We'll continue to see that chance even through about seven o'clock tomorrow morning. As we push through the day tomorrow, that chance slowly lessens as it starts to shift more towards eastern portions of Nebraska. And we'll see some clouds try to clear out throughout the day on Wednesday. So while there's still a chance of showers and storms in central Nebraska, the chance better to the east, much lower to the west for your day on Wednesday. And then things will kind of clear up for Wednesday night. Looking at your risk of severe weather from the Storm Prediction Center, the best chance is going to be in the east central Nebraska area. But uh, there is a marginal risk kind of along that frontal boundary from south central Nebraska into north central Kansas, southwest Nebraska, northwestern portions of Kansas. Large hail damaging winds look to be the primary threat. Temperatures for today, there's going to be a wide range today. Again, to the north of that front, we're looking at much cooler conditions. Upper 60s around Ainsworth, low 70s for O'Neill, right around 80 in Ord, 87. In Central City, a slight chance of a late day shower storm, otherwise mainly cloudy. A little more sunshine farther to the southeast towards Ord and Central City. Mostly cloudy to the west, a slight chance of showers and storms, maybe a little more sunshine around Beaver City and McCook. Uh, upper 80s there, but otherwise uh, mid and upper 70s, mid 80s around the uh, Lexington area. So again, just noticing that cool down behind that frontal boundary. Out ahead of that front, mid to upper 80s to lower 90s, partly cloudy, a small chance of rain late in the day, a little more sunshine towards northern Kansas, more sunshine to the east, upper 80s, lower 90s, breezy south winds ahead of that front. So that front passes through, although the temps kind of mix out the next couple of days, it will be cooler, but not overly cool behind that front. We'll still keep a slight chance of showers and storms around tomorrow, especially earlier in the day. Dry conditions for Wednesday night. And then as another cold front approaches, chances of rain start to pick up Thursday, especially towards Thursday night, continuing into Friday as we continue to cool things back Friday. As uh, conditions uh, dry out, we'll see the skies clear up. Winds will be light for Friday night. It's going to get a little cool, a little chilly out there for early Saturday morning, starting off around that 50 degree mark. But Saturday looks pretty nice, other than a breeze. Looking pretty good with the high in the mid-70s, lots of sunshine. A little warmer for your Sunday Patriots Day, highs in the lower 80s. And then here comes another cold front, and that is going to bring in our next chance of showers and storms Monday and Monday night. And that could be followed up by a bigger cool down by the time we get towards next Tuesday and Wednesday. Highs may only be in the 60s, so the fluctuation of temperatures, the periodic cold fronts, just a sign that we are moving into the fall season. So there is your forecast for today. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski, and I hope you have a great Tuesday.